Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm office bloke Aiden. I'm Gaina. I'm so. And today we're doing 28 foods to eat in your lifetime. Love what, food. What are they? They yeah, what are? They look like tacos some sort of or taco yeah. or empanada. Those ones mm. on the right look like they've got shredded steak or beef or something in there. Yeah. Is that like a glaze or like a? You know what I mean like a something over the top of them like well, a sticky. It's, if you see on the grill, it's all burnt, so it's obviously something sticky that's caramelized on the. Uh, the grill plate, so yum. These are just any foods that you should eat that we probably like haven't seen before. Well, let, let's see yeah. how many of them we have had. I feel like Yola yeah. definitely had probably quite a few on this list. We don't know what the list is. Yeah, they, but I feel like you made they look Mexican foods. Mm. But yeah, we'll see. food video and office bloke Daz isn't on it as well. I know. Right. Yeah, he, does, he does like a bit of his food. Even he does he love topping on the end on the uh, food videos. <laughs> yeah, this is a twenty-eight foods to eat in your lifetime, twenty twenty-one. <laughs> From the juiciest tacos in LA to barbecue tacos. ribs from a gas station in Kansas City. Gas there are 28 station. foods you can't miss in 2021. If you're looking for some of the juiciest tacos in LA, be sure to stop by Bideria San Marcos. The meat is slow cooked for up to seven hours. The cooking broth is used to crisp up the tortillas, which then get a nice pile of cheese and are cooked further. And of course, no birria taco is complete without a cup of consomme for dipping. It's a big dip, so... Yeah. Cool. While Portillo's in Chicago is known for its hot dogs, its cake shake is another incredibly oh, popular no, no. The business yeah. makes anywhere from 60 to 200 chocolate cakes a day. Any cakes not oh. served that day are used to make the shakes, Jeez. which include an entire slice mixed in. Primo's Donuts is an institution in LA. Since 1956, Primo's has been serving up hot and fresh donuts to Angelino's Ooh. daily. While it may not fit the traditional shape, the buttermilk bar is widely regarded as one of the best donuts in Los Angeles. Mm, that looks good. Joe's Kansas City Barbecue has been operating out of a gas station since 1996. That's crazy. And has become yeah. a favorite amongst locals. The award-winning ribs are slowly smoked and smothered in a sweet barbecue sauce. That looks nice. Just press pause. That's probably something I really want to try. Do you remember when you used to go with Nikolai and Luba? to Dubai and she used to stop on the way at that gas station and you used to eat there? Not really, no. <laughs> I don't remember going to stop off at you a gas station. You don't remember anything? No, I remember going to Dubai with them, but I don't remember stopping off at a gas station. So she used to, she used to stop on the way at this like gas station. It had like a little um, like cafe type place next to it and it, served, it didn't serve like ribs and stuff because they were pork and you, know, you couldn't eat pork, but it had like lots of like different kind of bits of food and she used to buy it was really cheap obviously that's why she stopped there yeah and she used to like stop and, and buy your food there I used to love it mm. Mm. interesting Thank you. pancakes are your breakfast of choice look no further than the clinton street baking company in new york city its blueberry pancakes have won numerous awards and for good reason the perfect balance of crispy outside and fluffy inside paired with its homemade blueberry sauce makes each bite as delicious as the next. That looks really nice. Skyline Chili is a Cincinnati staple known for topping its meals with huge amounts of delicious chili and cheese. Jesus. It's okay, that's a dish called the That's way too much. As yes. a spaghetti base. That looks like spaghetti. Beans, it, I think it is spaghetti. Chili and loads of cheese. It's chili and spaghetti, isn't it? But like, that's cheese. Yeah. For a savory option in the morning, the full English breakfast from yeah. Terry's Cafe Boy. is the best in London. The dish comes as a hefty portion with Cumberland sausage, beans, oh, roasted tomatoes, black pudding, bubble and squeak, mushrooms, <gasps> bacon, and, squeak. and a perfectly runny egg. Mm. That egg looks nice. It does. La New Yorkina in New York City makes traditional Mexican style ice pops by hand. Oh. It makes roughly 3,000 of the paletas a day and features a variety of Mexican inspired flavors such as- Whatever happened to that ice lolly maker I had? I bought one yesterday, did you see it? I saw like the ice cream cones, but I like, I remember I feel like my 12th birthday I got an ice cream maker. You did? Or an ice lolly <laughs> maker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you, you put the container in the freezer. Yeah. And then you... Just put like, I used to poured, just put like fruit juice in. Yeah, you poured like, yeah, like fruit cordial juice into it. Or and, then, yeah. and then you put it into the machine and it made ice lollies in 30 minutes, in 30 seconds. It was really, really? good. 30 yeah. seconds, was it? Yeah. Yeah, because the, 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 you put the thing... The ice cream maker I've made at her, that I've got at home that we've not used yet. The reason is is because you have to put the tub into the freezer for twenty four hours. There's no space in the freezer. Well, no, yeah, that, this is the thing. And there's no space in the freezer, so when you take it out, then you add all your ingredients 
and yeah. it takes 12 minutes to make fresh ice cream. That's so good. So I need to eat all the stuff out the freezer to make <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> but yeah, yesterday I bought, did you see I bought like little... I saw the cones cone. and I was like, what, what's all that? And Dad was like, so I can make ice cream. Oh No, I bought these little popsicle things because obviously we've got Delilah on Monday mm. and I thought I'll make her some like... Have we? I didn't know that. You said like, obviously. Yeah, I I, know that. well I've got Delilah on Monday. So Aww. I'm gonna make her some like little frozen pops. I thought she'd like those. Oh, she yeah. love them. Yeah. Like, like little mini. What about mini milk? Milk. Oh, milk. Just leaving all of that. He's at school. Oh, he's not coming. No, he's not coming. <laughs> it's just girls' day. <laughs> love it, it makes roughly three thousand of the paletas a day, and features a variety of Mexican-inspired flavors such as mango chili and raspberry verbena. Ooh. Mango chili. C and O Trattoria in Venice, no. California, offers free and There's endless no garlic knots with every oh, meal. Each roll is doused with a signature garlic butter mix. The that restaurant averages dope. about ten thousand garlic knots each day. Ten thousand a day. <laughs> the nutty cookie from Maman is one of the most popular cookies in New York City. The cookie includes almonds, walnuts, macadamia nuts, and sixty-one percent dark chocolate wafers. Mm. The shop goes through around 3,000 cookies in just two days. Wow. Some of the so best meats you can buy in LA doesn't come from a restaurant, but from this wood fire grill in the back of a pickup truck. Oh my After gosh. spending time learning the craft in Italy, Elio Lopez set up shop in a liquor store parking lot where he fires up fresh Neapolitan what? style pizzas with a wide range of customizations. That looks amazing. Yeah. <gasps> Central Texas is known for having some of the best barbecue in the country. No. And the beef rib from Louis Miller Barbecue is no exception. A simple blend of seasonings paired with old school smoking techniques cooks the meat to a nearly pull apart texture. Conby in Los Angeles specializes in Japanese style egg sandwiches. One of its most Mate, popular. How perfect is that sandwich look? Yeah. I like know. the slice of chicken is just perfect yeah. in that and sandwich. That egg is perfect as well. It's not too runny and it's not too hard. Have you ever watched on like TikTok and stuff or seen the. Um, like convenience stores in like Japan and stuff. No. Oh my god! Like mm. literally, they have like their like sandwiches that they have, and like that looks just so fluffy and perfect. I'm like, how? Yeah. Do you know I mean you go to a corner shop here, and it literally looks the like hands out falling out half out the that's sandwich. That's what I mean. It's grey. I like... love Scotch eggs, but I can't get them to be perfect in the middle. The eggs mm. always rock hard. Oh well, you should eat that. That's like the perfect like. Yeah. Not runny, but not yeah. too boiled. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it looks delicious. Blair is the egg salad sandwich, which features a hefty scoop of egg salad yeah. and a soft boiled egg sandwiched between mm. two slices of fluffy white bread. Mm, nice. The business goes through around 2,200 eggs a week. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Across the river from Manhattan, you'll find Fiore's House of Quality, a small deli in Hoboken, New Jersey, that's renowned for its roast beef and mutt sandwiches. The shop makes its own fresh mutts, which pairs perfectly with its roast beef and freshly baked Ooh, rolls. I love mozzarella. The sandwich mm -hmm. is topped off and served with a rich gravy for dipping. These be thicker. That's a very weird looking gravy. They, Antico de Nayo is a must try. The gravy over there is called a jus, which is just like watery flavouring. Get ya. Our gravy is quite thick, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And then they have white gravy as well. White gravy, is... which is quite thick. Mm. Yeah. I would, call, I, would, yeah, is that, I, would, I would call that more a jus than a gravy. Mm. What's that visiting food? Florence. Its sandwiches are made with a local bread, bread called <gasps> schiacetta. The shop has an endless selection of cold cuts, cheese, and homemade creams like truffle or artichoke. Mm. You can find Fugetsu Do in LA's Little Tokyo. It's one of the oldest Japanese American businesses in the country. The family-run shop is known for its rainbow dango, a fun oh and God. vibrant version of the traditional Japanese mochi. While Philadelphia may be known for its cheesesteaks, Sarcone's Bakery serves up another Philly classic. What started as a way to prevent leftover bread dough from going to waste, the tomato pie has become popular amongst Philadelphians for an on-the-go meal. That. Russ and Daughters is a fourth-generation family business serving up some of the best lox in Manhattan. The sandwich comes with a healthy portion of the smoked salmon, tomato, and cream cheese on both sides. Monty's Good Burger in LA offers a delicious burger that option that is 100% plant-based. Yeah. Cooks caramelized fresh onions daily. Oh my God. How many oh, onions do you need? Yeah. With follow your heart cheese, house-made sauces, and all the fixings. A great comfort food option for vegans and non-vegans alike. 
Vegans. <laughs> Since 1925, Eddie's Sweet Shop has made a name for itself in the Queens borough of New York City. It's known for his classic sundae with the works. That's three scoops of ice cream, hot fudge or strawberry sauce, fresh whipped cream, and a cherry on top. Las Vegas' Sugar Factory features a five what? dessert cake tower that wow. is sure to satisfy any sweet tooth. It includes oh, a brownie base, chocolate covered strawberries, ice cream cookies, sandwiches, and red velvet cake pops. Low Key Burritos is a pop up in Long Beach, California. Oh, don't let Darren Ball see that. Breakfast burritos filled with eggs, bacon, potatoes, and avocado. They're then finished off on a flat top with a crispy cheese blanket cradling the outside. Oh my God, that Ooh. looks amazing. <gasps> Ralph's Maybe Italian like restaurant that. in Philadelphia <laughs> is the oldest Italian restaurant in the country. Over the last 120 years, it's gained a loyal following for classic Italian-American dishes like spaghetti and meatballs. Such an Italian name, like, like yeah, like a when you see like Ralph's or yeah. Ralphie's, I just think of like a, an Italian restaurant yeah. in America. Yeah, I know. And the <laughs> meatballs are huge over there, like the size of like. I was gonna say they look like that yeah, big. They're huge, the size of like blooming tennis balls. So you balls. only get two. That's why. <laughs> yeah. A mix of ground beef and ground pork gives the meatballs their distinct tender texture. The clam chowder from Atlantic Fish Company in Boston is perfect for seafood lovers. The chowder is made with huge, fresh chopped quahogs and clarified butter. Nah. It's then served in a toasted sourdough bread yeah, bowl. Yeah, nice. The cronut is one of New York City's so most nice. iconic desserts. Perfect. Dominique Ansel Bakery created the donut croissant hybrid so in 2013. Crispy and the hype remains fervent to this day. It's filled with two different fillings, rolled in sugar and glazed with an evolving selection of flavors. This version features Meyer lemon and honey. Oh, <gasps> Naples street food shop, Timbalo, has revolutionized the traditional pasta bake. Macaroni. Instead of serving it on a plate, the shop wanted to make a more portable version of the dish by wrapping it in a baked shell with a variety of fillings. Oh my gosh, nice. So cool. Mashti Malone's has been serving Persian ice cream to Hollywood locals since the 1980s. One of the more popular items is the pistachio ice cream sandwich made with saffron rose water. Ooh. The old pistachios. Steve's yeah. authentic key lime pie in Red Hook, Brooklyn has created a way to enjoy its famous key lime pie on the go. The founders came up with the idea of making a smaller version of the pie that fits on a stick and is dipped in chocolate. Oh my, oh my god. god. So what did we <laughs> miss? Insane. Are there any foods you think we should include for 2022? Let us know in the comments below. Mate, that pizza one's outrageous, you know, just like on the back of his truck and they come out looking like that in the car it's park like of a looking store. Quality. Yeah. Like authentic. <gasps> There's a, a um, pizza dish. place in Altrincham that you probably been past it loads of times and mystics it's tiny it's called pix p-i-x and it's up on the left hand side before you get to the market have you seen it oh my god i know where you mean i yeah. know where you mean it's tiny yeah. is it next to like the cancer research and like a barber shop um oh it's next no, it's to the bakery where's the bakery so you know where marks and spencers is yeah right so marks and spencers is on the corner so you stood looking up towards the market and this is marks and spencers yeah as you walk up just on the left hand side there's a, a, a pizza place there called picks it's only tiny oh. you can only fit one person and if you go in you order it's just like a, a thingy and then you wait outside and then they tell you when it's ready but it comes out like that mm. you know yeah absolutely That's delicious good. interesting yeah. Yeah, yeah that all pretty much all that looked lovely to me yeah i've, I've not i've not that. really got a sweet tooth so all the sweet stuff like donuts and I like donuts, but I would never like that milkshake with that a slice of cake in it is a no. No, that one no. too thick and heavy. Yeah, and that one where it's like, was it like the, the sweet factory where it had like, yeah. chocolate like sa ice cream and sandwich? Yeah. That would be a bit too much. Yeah. I could have one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not ordering that whole thing. But like a thing. massive. I'd like the strawberry dipped in chocolate, that'd be nice. And yeah. that key lime pie on a stick with the chocolate, mm. that looked quite nice. But I don't yeah, know, I'd probably have one. one um, mm. did you, what was that ice cream you bought that you put in the freezer, that chocolate one? Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, I've just had one spoonful and that was enough. It better have been mine because Sylvia got one as well. I don't know whose it was. I just <laughs> She's had, just there. I just yeah, it's been a massive out. chunk and she's like, what? No, there's not a massive chunk. It's one teaspoon out of it and then I put it back in the freezer. Wait, was it like, what colour was it? Brown. You, you ate Sylvia's ice cream. Sorry, Sylvia. 
She's never going to forgive you for that one. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button for us and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Cheers. Bye.